Hey everyone, it's Aubrey, Recovering Perfectionist, Queen of Distraction slash Gardener. We are back for another garden tour and update. It is raining and it's like the rain that is sticky and disgusting and I hate it. The kind of rain that makes all of my sensory overload, overload. Okay, first, let's chat about the garlic. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it's going to make garlic or if it's not going to make garlic. There was a hole in the bed, and I wish I would have taken a video of it because it was like just a perfect circle, like inch hole, like a foot down, where I tried to shine a light in there to see if there was anything in there, and I didn't see anything. So, of course, I naturally decided to dig that up. There was a lot of nice worms, and I did want to while i was in there just pull out a garlic just to see what would happen and it was this one here this one that's looking a little bit more sad than all of the other ones and there's no bulb just i mean i'm going to show you a clip of what it looked like so i don't have to try and explain what it looked like but i put it back in there hopefully it's not too pissed off at me and will actually make something but i mean if not we have the we have all of the other ones in there that will also hopefully make something so as you can see it's raining we've had a lot of rain in the last week which i'm very thankful for everything in the yard is just so green like it's the spring green and it's beautiful and i love it and it's wonderful but there are also a lot of things growing that i don't know what they are a lot of things that i i know are weeds but there are some things that are growing that i might not necessarily want to pull out of the ground so now is the time of year where things come out and I leave them and wait and see what happens. But that rain has just done wonders for everything. Look at the carrots. You can just really see them, like even from far back now, like look at all that green. And then a couple days ago, I put my green bean seeds in some water just to let them soak before I put them in the ground. And it was like just enough seeds to plant one every three inches. The recommended spacing was six. And I said, no. And I put a bean in one hole every three inches. I know that a lot of times the seed packets will say, put two to three seeds in each hole. And you know, like assuming that one or two isn't gonna germinate, your likelihood of having an actual plant where you put it is going to be higher. I feel like that's a waste of seeds because I really just have such a hard time thinning things because why would I want to destroy a perfectly good plant? The lettuce is still looking lovely over here. Not as much growth as I imagined, but I'm sure that that will really perk up as soon as the sun really starts coming out. I don't know what incarnation is going on over here. A lot of things going to seed. I'm really surprised that this one is already bolting and going to seed. Whatever. I mean, who am I to judge? I'm not a kale plant. There is a bunch of parsley that is coming back from last year. I let that go to seed. We're going to have another parsley bunch over here, which I'm not complaining about. Let's see. Where are we? Oh yeah, over here. These peas. Look at them go. The peas and the cabbage. And these guys over here are starting to climb. Yay. And then still no strawberry blooms. It looks like maybe we might have one soon, but there's a tree growing in here, so that's happening. But right now it's really just so much weed. Z weeds. Okay, I feel like I'm just all over the place. This rain is distracting me. How do I live here? Oh, I was like, what the heck is that? What is that? And that and that. I forgot I had some green onions that I had stuck in some water on my windowsill and they were getting real stinky. So I decided to just plant them out here with the cabbage to hopefully deter from the pests that have been gobbling up my cabbage. And I don't know if that's going to make a difference. That's so frustrating. One thing I am wondering is like I decided to just leave our leafy mulch that we had put in there during the fall. And I wonder if I should take that out. Like if there's stuff living in there that is eating my cabbage. That is a possibility that I should consider. Okay, we're going back outside real quick. We're gonna finish this up outdoors. Chamomile, look at that. And then check out, look at this grapevine. You go girl. My parents have the most wonderful grapevine in their backyard, and I'm really hoping that someday, like, creating some kind of arch over here, and we'll walk through the grapes, and it'll be wonderful and beautiful. All right. So, over here, there are a bunch of snapdragons coming in over here from last year that are reseeding themselves. And last night, 
I planted a variety of cucumber. I think it's, I can't remember what it is, but I did one basically just on every thingy, which I think is like eight inches. It said to space them apart every foot, but I said no, because that's what I'm doing, like I told you. And I had just enough seeds to do one at like the base of every up piece, if that makes sense. Oh, it's so sticky. And then what else did I do? Two nights ago, where you see a snowman of rocks, I put some zucchini seeds. So we should have a few zucchini plants. And then along the length of that, up until that four by four, I put sunflower seeds, which I'm very excited for. Oh, there was a rock, I almost fell. Ugh. But as far as the sunflower seeds go, um, I did sunflower seeds there. And then I also did them along I can't, I can't see the window over there and the window right there, just in those flower beds there and there, both of those. There's just so much growth. And I know a lot of that is plantain, but also a lot of it is actual flowers. So wait and see, wait and see. Oh, it's getting so sticky out here, but, but I have to take a peek at this bed real quick and show you all the growth. Look at, look at all the stuff that's coming up in here. I have no idea what it is. The only thing that I want growing in that bed is corn, pumpkins, and sunflowers. So I don't, I don't know what to do. This lavender is doing amazing. I grew that, I made that life. And then over on this side, uh, two of the echinacea plants that I planted over here disappeared. There's still one and then I did do sunflowers along the back of this and this is the only chamomile that came back from all of the seeds that i had grown in here last year i don't really need that chamomile plant at this point with all that i've got going on over there so i think i might end up giving that to a friend of mine if she didn't get any chamomile seeds okay in the safety of the greenhouse and look i cleaned i cleaned in here yay it was so disgusting it was quite a challenge to get that done Alec and I were outside and he wanted literally everything to do with everything else other than being in here, but I got it done. I still haven't done any weeding or soil adding to this section, but that's a project for another day. I know my hair is probably a mess, but you get what you get from me at this moment in time. Okay, let's talk about my things that I have growing in the greenhouse right now. I have honestly forgotten about the stuff out here and have tried to at least pop in every other day to you know make sure that nothing is drying out. For the most part, everything's been able to stay uh, pretty moist in here. There was the one lavender plant that I accidentally killed, but all of the lavender that is still alive seems to be doing pretty okay. The cilantro has its actual cilantro leaves on it. It even smells like cilantro. I'm just kidding, I can't smell it. My nose is so plugged up right now. I probably should be getting those some bigger pots. And then over here, we've got our tomatoes. Um, the ones in the circle pots are a cherry tomato variety and the ones in the square pots, I guess the two, are a pineapple tomato that I tried to grow last year and failed at. These babies were the pepper plants from the pepper that I had gotten from the grocery store and they're getting their second set of leaves. I was kind of worried about them there for a second and I just really feel like I need to get these in the ground. And then over here, the loofah gourd. Only two of those seeds came up and I planted quite a few. I did put some of those seeds out in the garden and none of those have come up yet. So time will tell. I feel like I need to get that printed on a t-shirt. Time will tell. That's just my motto for the year. Okay, something is in, something is in here. I feel like I really need to get these in the ground. These jalapenos, they're, they've been in here far too long and these are actually pretty dry, but, uh, Oh yeah, there's, oh, it's, it's slugs. There's slug goo on here, you mother. Okay, um, I was going to give these to a friend, but I think that I'll probably just end up giving her some of mine. I don't need 20 pepper plants. Okay, so my asters, I really need to get those in the ground and I need to do, I probably need to repot, repot those. I don't know if it's, it's not time to put them outside. I feel like it's still too cold. It's the weather, it's supposed to be spring and spring is not springing like I thought it was. It's cold and it's been raining. And I know April showers bring May flowers and May is a couple days from now. I just really want warm weather so I can put these things in the ground. I just hate repotting things. It's, it's a step that I 
don't want to do. But we're going to take this thing out. Because I have a feeling. I found you. Ooh, that's... Holy smokes. Look at that. You poor plants. Good lord, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to fill this tree with water. But look who I found. This. That's who's been eating everything. I should actually probably check all of these trays. Bye, Felicia. That's my sister-in-law's name. Water from the bottom. Okay. I know that I should be concerned about my vegetables because those are the things that are obviously feeding my family, but I'm most concerned about my zinnia plants. I know that these, like they need to be in the ground. Like this one is, oh, I really hope I don't turn, I'm not even gonna try and pick it up because like all of the roots are so connected at this point. It's just still too cold to put them in the ground. And I, again, I don't wanna repot them, but also please don't die. There's also one, two, three scabiosa in there. I got those seeds for my friend Nicole. She loves the scabiosa. Okay, well, let's see. I guess that's that. <sighs> we did it. Another garden tour. I appreciate you tagging along with me. I will see you next week. And that's all. All right. I love you. Have fun and be kind.